spring awards? Um, I mean, just overall work ethic. You know, I've I've really wanted this for a long time. It's been like three or four years, and I've been a in the two spot, you know, and it was my opportunity to step up, so that really motivated me and everything I did this spring. Yeah. How much was that? Your, your mindset, I guess, every day you waited so long for a chance to play now that you were finally in the first rotation. How did you approach the attack spring? I mean, it was very important to me, and um, last spring I didn't, I didn't get a good chance to uh, – you know, give it up my all that I could, you know. So this spring, I, I really took it upon myself to be the best that I could. And I knew that I would have an opportunity to start. So it was it was very important to me. And I knew I had to be, you know, one of the stronger, faster, you know, more athletic guys out there. So that's what I was working for. What's what's your comfort level at guard as opposed to tackle? For those who play both, why does guard maybe fit you better? Um, I think guard just fits me better, just with uh, my size overall. You know, I'm not I'm not as long as uh, you know the Juans and Tinies. I'm not I'm not I don't have as long as arms as them and stuff. But uh, if if I have to, I can go out to tackle. I mean, I think I proved myself athletic enough to be out there. But uh, I'm really liking guard right now. Um, if I have to go out there, that's fine with me. Whatever that whatever helps the team. Mac, what about for you? What was your spread like? Uh, it was good. Just continue to get better. Um, continue to step up as a leader. Uh, obviously, the five guys left, and those spots have to be, um, you know, taken over. And uh, all of those five guys were our leaders last year. And uh, me and me, Marcus and Kyler, all three of us are stepping up. Um, so, at, at the spring was was good. Just um, getting practice, leading those young guys, and kind of knowing what to expect coming forward. You, you looked like you were. Pretty uh, unhappy with your guys last week in the next scrimmage last week when on the sideline. You got into it pretty good. Did you, feel, did you like how they kind of the line responded this week and, and today? Yeah, they always respond great. I mean, most of the time they they know um, when they're not doing the best job ever. And after we went back and watched the film, it wasn't as bad as, as we thought it was. It was just sometimes you don't really know what's going on behind you whenever you're blocking up front. Um, but you know, I think that once I got onto them, they they realized that. Um, maybe they weren't doing something wrong, but maybe you know we need to pick up the slack for the rest of the team. Tyler, uh, I saw you and Mac watching intently during pro day. The offensive linemen running drills, and you were talking to some of the scouts. But was there anything that you picked up from watching some of those drills the offensive linemen did that day? I mean, just just knowing what to expect from uh, all the coaches at the pro day. You know um, what they're looking for, and I uh, saw. So, I mean, seeing some of the drills. One drill was. Um, a lot of the O linemen pulling around and picking up a tennis ball off the ground, showing their agility and they're able to bend and stuff. So I mean that just resonates in us and lets us know like, you know, that's what everybody's looking for, your agility, able to bend, how quick you can move your feet, all stuff like that. Maybe just start doing some of those drills. Uh, not yet. That's probably something we'll get into more in the summer with our skill development type stuff. Uh, and another thing I noticed was um, whenever the the uh, individual drills came, uh, I don't know if you all were there for those, but their hand violence was just, I mean, that that's the main thing that they focused on was um, getting your hands inside and hand violence. And uh, that's, that's one thing that Coach always stresses that we need to continue to get better on. And uh, we'll use those drills along with others uh, to work on our hand violence um, going into the, going the off season. Malik, where do you feel like you leave spraying at in terms of the competition there and the, the secondary? And what's the next step for you as you move forward? I feel like I just shot, um, starting at um, either corner or nickel. Just got to keep competing and um, just doing my job. And we'll see what happens in the summer, just getting bigger and come fall camp. We'll see what competition comes about. For both your offensive linemen, that's probably the most extensive that we've gotten to see Lane, Hurd, and some of those guys. Talk about what dynamics they bring to, to the backfield there and kind of what you've seen out of those guys throughout spring. I mean, they just run hard. Both of those guys do. Uh, Hurd, he's a young guy, and uh, he's obviously wanting to impress the coaches. Um, <coughs> So he, he comes with a, with a good attitude every day. He's just got to get some, some things worked out, which will come with time. Uh, I, I think Marlon Lane, he's proved to be, you know, pretty, he's, he's a veteran now and uh, he's, he's proved himself. So he, he's just consistent. I mean, he's the consistent running back right now. And uh, he, he continues to come every day with a great mindset because he knows, he knows what coach wants, expects, and uh, he knows what it takes to be great. Um, I I agree with Mac on all those, and um, a lot of the running backs are very competitive. I mean, it's almost as competitive as the quarterback situation with all the running backs. Um, 
and that makes every single one of them better. You know, Jalen pushing Marlon, Marlon pushing Alden, Alden pushing Justice Pickett. I mean, they're all pushing each other to where every single one of them is getting better. So, I mean, that's all we need. I mean, you can't you can't get better unless you're a little pushed. So it's it's really nice to see all of them pick up their game and be able to contribute. Well, you can talk about the, some of the big plays today, obviously, from the offensive side. I know that y'all don't ever want them to score, but they put some points on the board today, moving the plays down the field, big plays. How disappointing was that? Um, it was very disappointing because uh, as a defense, we never want to give up big plays, but um, we're going to watch the film and just correct the mistakes that we made, and we'll get it corrected. Coach said something about the tackling being not as good today. Like, y'all were in positions, but just didn't tackle as well. Is that, I know the other guys make plays on the other side of the ball too, but how disappointing was it to kind of end spring that way? Yeah, um, you know, it's so disappointing because we want to get the ball on the ground whenever we can. We never can. We want to make plays. Um, but we're just working the summer on tackling drills more and, and in the fall and just keep, keep working at it. Both of you offensive linemen, again, you're the better of most guys up there. You've been to a bunch of orange and white games. Did you ever think you would see the program at, at this point? Considering a couple of years ago, I think it was 25 or 30,000. Did you think you'd play a spring game in front of almost 70,000 people? I, I honestly didn't. Uh, I always thought of a spring game as just something, you know, the fans could come watch if they wanted to, you know, and uh, it wasn't going to be like a big deal, but <clears throat> Coach Jones has made it, made it a, a big deal, and I think uh, the main reason for that is so we can get in front of 70,000 people uh, before the season starts and before the off season just to know what it, you know to expect. Um, it's great for these young guys also because like Coleman Thomas, Dontavious Blair, I mean that's the first time they've really played in front of such a big crowd and uh, um, so I think Coach Jones has done a great job with just getting that many people there. Uh, it's, it's awesome too. I mean I, I love playing in that in that atmosphere. Yeah. Uh -huh.